Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, I'm going to try out a brand new soap. Here it is right here. I've had a little while, bought on Amazon.com, and I'm going to try to pronounce the name because this is a French heart soap. It's uh, Puy du Provence. I believe that's how it's pronounced. If I mangled it, <laughs> I do apologize, but I believe it's Puy du Provence, and it is from France. And it is made with shea butter, and it's got some a lot of good slick ingredients in there. And I'm really looking forward to use it. So it's a hard soap. It comes in a really nice tin. You can see how it, the cap screws off and screws on. So that's really very nice. And it is one big solid puck. Let me show you right here what it looks like. It has the logo stamped in there, embossed on one side, and then pressed into the other side. It uh, looks like it's a dove with... Um, Know, some kind of flower in his mouth but that's uh, that's it that's what we're going to use uh, for the shave today I'm not going to use any pre-shave cream because I want to see how this performs and I got a good two days a good two days of growth of beard here and if you can see that again people say that they can't see my beard but I got two days worth of beard growth here and I am fair-skinned and Oh, gee whiz, I've had blonde hair all my life, so it probably doesn't photograph too well. But believe me, two days worth of beard growth. We're going to be using my Mission Razor, the short-handled version. This is a stainless steel um, handle with the Mission Razor head from Razor Rock. This is a really nice variation of their standard Mission Razor with the longer standard handle. This one is chrome-plated. The newer standard version does come with a stainless steel handle. This was the chrome one, so I have both, but you can see the difference in size. And I happen to think that the shorter handle gives me a little more control, a little more maneuverability. For me, this is on the aggressive side, which is why I want to use it, because I want to see how much protection this shaving soap gives me. Uh, razor blade of choice is going to be... Gillette Silver Blues. I, I've used these in the past. I haven't used them for some time, so I kind of don't remember how they are. Um, I think this is a rather sharp blade, a little more on the aggressive side. We'll see. Looking forward to using this. I'm going to be using my uh, Razor Rock Chrome Brush Synthetic. Uh, because I'm using a hard soap, I want to use my synthetic brush because I I, for me, synthetics just seem to work better. They lather better when I'm using a hard, hard puck soap. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put that in the, in the warm water here that I have in my sink right now. And I am going to go ahead and put just a little bit of hot water on top of this, just to help soften it up a little bit. So we got a little bit of hot water here. Okay, I'm just going to put just a little bit, just a little bit on there. So it doesn't go down the sides because that puck is not sitting in there securely, but just a little bit on the, a little bit on top there. Uh, so we got that going. Uh, I'm going to finish it off also with an Osma Alum Block, uh, some Aqua Velva aftershave, and uh, a little bit of Wild Country for the top of the dome there, <laughs> or maybe Wild Country as an aftershave. We'll skip the Aqua Velva. We'll see how it goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wet the face uh, and we're going to go ahead and build a lather. So let's just uh, wet the face here and get going to it. Um, just let me say that uh, prior to starting this filming, um, starting this video, prior to starting this video, I went ahead and uh, put a hot towel on the face to guy get everything nice and moist and prepped and everything like that. So I'm all set there. So we're going to go ahead and wet the face and get going with the shape. Okay, okay, again, we have this soaking here a little bit. I'm gonna dump that out. It's nice and soft on top now. And I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna wring it out a little bit, not too much. Might have to add some water to it, but we'll see. And we're gonna go ahead and load this brush up and start building a lather. Probably gonna do more of a face lather than a, a lather in the uh, in the puck here, but boy, you can see already, wow, this is within seconds, this stuff has already loading on this brush very quickly, and I think the synthetic brushes do a great job for this. That's why I like them so much. I don't know what it is, but uh, 
These synthetic brushes are great. So, okay, so here, let's just take a look. Look how I've got that loaded on the brush already. And you can see I've got some really nice cream in there already, too. Really, really, I mean, I'm surprised. I am I'm astonished at how quickly this is loaded up in seconds. Wow, that's really, really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and build a lather here. Wow. Wow. That is, that is just, that has lathered faster than any other soap I've used, I think, to date. Really, I mean, I don't even, I don't even know if Tabak lathers this fast, but I'd have to check again. I mean, it could just be that I'm mis misremembering. I mean, that's, a, that's fast. Wow. And it's a nice, nice and thick too. I'm gonna to add just a little bit of water here. Just a little, there we go. Just a little bit of water just to put a little bit of more moisture in there. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow, this is, wow. Got a real nice fresh scent here. Just a really nice, I mean, not overpowering, very muted, very subtle, real nice fresh scent. Boy, I tell you what, right now, right off the bat, without even shaving, without even putting the, the razor to my skin, <laughs> this is terrific. Okay, let's let that sit on the, uh, Sit on there and moisten up a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and grab a brand new silver blue razor blade. Let's get this down on there like that. Alignment on this is uh, really very nice. Don't have to really nudge it one way or the other. Yeah, alignment on this is really, really very good. You can see right there. Very, very nice. Okay, so now this is set up a little bit. It's uh, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up a little bit. And then we're going to get on with the shave. All right, heating it up. A little swirl to bring it to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice protection, really nice. A nice light touch. So far, a very smooth shade. No tugging, no pulling, really nice. The neckline is gonna kinda tell the tale. How this performs. Wow, that's two days growth there. Seems to be knocking it down nicely. Although, again, on the first pass, you don't, you're not gonna take it all down, but you do wanna get a good start to it. Okay. Nice. All right, that's the first pass down. Let's rinse. Okay, I do have two days worth of growth. So it knocked it down in nice areas right here. My neck needs a little more work, but again, it's two days worth of growth. This second pass will really, will really determine how nicely this shea soap works. And with the water on my face, Look how much lather I'm generating again because I've got a real nice 
load of soap on these bristles. So it's right there. Nice. Really nice. You can't, I mean, with this much growth, you can't expect too much on the first pass. Your mileage may vary, obviously, but I can tell you something right now. This stuff is so slick that this handle has become very slippery. So let me just wipe my hands off here a little bit and let me wipe this handle off just a little bit. Wow, that's slick. That tells me it's very, very slick. Hang on a minute, let me put that aside. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of grip. I guess that's a... I guess that's something you have to be aware of when you're using a chrome handled brush of any kind. Make sure you get a good grip of it. Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? Look at how much. Wow. And again, nice, clean, fresh scent. Real nice. Going to wipe my hands off a little bit here. Okay, here we go. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Really nice. Light touch is all you need. It's all you need. All right, second pass is done. Let's rinse. Well, that was a nice second pass. And again, considering that I have two days worth of growth, this is probably good enough for the office right now, really. And there is a considerable amount of slickness still on my face, even though that I've rinsed quite a bit there, just to see how much I could get off. Um, I am going to need a third pass. I mean, I can go to the office and, and get by with it. This is my shave. Um, but uh, yeah, third pass would be great. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, look how much I have on the brush. Some of you are going to use this soap and with just a, a day's growth, you know, overnight waking up. You're going to use this with a silver blue blade and you're going to get a beautiful shave after two passes. It all depends on how much beard growth you have and the blade you use, those kinds of things. But the silver blue blade has uh, been real nice. It is a bit on the aggressive side, I will say that. But I think I needed it for all this growth that I had there. And this soap is wonderful. The soap seems to react to water that's on your face. I did a lot of rinsing after that second pass and there was a lot of water there and uh, actually starting to build a lather from what I had in the brush really activated it more. It's, it's, look how much I have here. It's really, really very, very nice. So, uh, wow, it's slick. It's got a great scent. So uh, let's see how the third pass goes here. So we're going to go south to north against the grain.
Okay, third pass is done. Let's rinse. Okay, again, a lot of slickness trying to get off of my face there. This stuff is really, really slick. I am very impressed by that. We're going to go ahead and do our two final rinses, one warm, one cold, and uh, finish up this shave. But still a lot of slickness. Hurry up. <laughs> still a lot of slickness on my face. I was really, uh, I'm really very surprised by that. So we're going to do a warm water rinse and a cold water rinse now to, to get the rest of that slickness off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do um, cold water rinse. Really took a lot to get all that slickness off. Really had to rinse quite a bit. All right, here we go with the cold water rinse. Okay, really nice. Got a fresh clean towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's a nice shave. That was really nice. Love the scent. Love the performance of the soap. Really nice. Now, the Osma Alum Block will give us an indication if we were uh, a little too aggressive with the razor and the blade or if um, we had enough protection from the uh, from the Puy de Provence soap. And again, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Okay, ooh, nice and cold which is great, which is what we want on our alum block. Here we go. Absolutely no stinging. No stinging at all. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. No stinging. Maybe a minor zing here and there, but no stinging, uh, which tells me that I got a nice close shave with no irritation that the uh, razor and the blade did the job. I think I needed something a little more on the aggressive side because I had two days beard growth. But again, I'm a fair skinned individual. I probably could have gotten by with, um, oh, I don't know, a milder blade, a milder razor. Dry this off, towel dry just like I just did right there. And then uh, place it in a dish like that and let it air dry. For the rest of the day, it'll be good to go for you uh, the next time you shave. All right, we are going to use some Aqua Velva aftershave. I want a little bit of that kick in there. We're going to let the alum bar set up a little bit, though, so let that set up. Okay, it's been about uh, 30 seconds or so, so we're going to go ahead and just use a little bit of this Aqua Velva. Nice, really nice. <laughs> you know, this is nice. This has got a nice scent. It gives you a nice little invigorating kick to the skin. Uh, you can feel it uh, tighten things up a little addi additionally. Nice cooling sensation. Really nice. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, Wild Country just for the uh, top of my head. Okay, it's a brand new tube, so I had to remove that. I had to remove that little seal there. Okay, so just a little bit right there like that, just a little bit for the old dome up above. All right, really nice shave, great shave, really, really very nice. Wow, I'm impressed. I mean, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Really, really very, very nice. I, uh, I'm really, I'm really surprised by the result. And uh, the, the, uh, the, I'll try this pronunciation again here. The Puy de Provence is a really nice soap. I'm just really impressed by how much lather it generated in such a short period of time. Check out the, the brush here, the brush. Look how much I have there still. Look at that. Now again, uh, this is why I use this is why I like to use synthetic brushes because you get 
so much lather generation, but you also have to have a good soap too. And this soap, this soap just, I mean, like that. I mean, it was bang. I had, I had, I had lather. I just loaded the brush. You saw it. I loaded the brush really, really, a uh, couple of swirls. And then there it was. Uh, I, all of a sudden I had um, lather. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. A really, really wonderful shave. Nice and close. Uh, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts. I mean, really, I mean, a ter wow, a terrific, a terrific, terrific shave. Now, I think the uh, Gillette Silver Blue, uh, for me, uh, on this shave, um, really been on the aggressive side there. I think it could be a little smoother for me. However, that could also be because of the, uh, the Mission Razor here also. The Mission, as I say, the Mission Razor is a little bit on the aggressive side. But even though I use an aggressive razor for me and a blade that I find to be a little aggressive, boy, oh boy, I tell you, this, this, this Puy de, this, uh, this Puy de Provence, this Puy de Provence really, really uh, gave me a lot of protection. Uh, I can imagine how well it's going to perform uh, for me if I use a blade that is a little, um, uh, smoother for me, uh, perhaps in a razor that's uh, a little milder. Um, boy, I tell you, it's probably give me a wonderful, wonderful shave. But this was a really nice result. So definitely check out this soap, uh, Prix de Provence. It's on Amazon. I'll have a link below. I'll also have a link to the uh, Gillette Silver Blue Blades and also to uh, the Mission Razor if you're interested in that. Really, really nice, nice shave. I was just really impressed with it. So, um, you know, check it out. This is really, this is, this is probably going up to my top five uh, in the in my top five show soaps. First time I've used it. Really, really impressed. I'm going to use it again. I'm also going to use it with a uh, with a natural hair brush like my uh, Samoa 1520 uh, boar hair brush to see how it works with that. Because again. The synthetic brush really generates a lot of lather, and I want to see how easily uh, a natural hair brush, like a boar brush, will load with, uh, will load this soap and build a lather. Um, I'm anticipating great performance there too. All right, hey, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Um, please subscribe, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell next time I upload a video. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.